I spent some time in Africa and um, really got inspired by talking to other entrepreneurs like myself who are starting small businesses and hearing their strategies and talking about their dreams and their plans for the future. Having a chance to wake up and you know really work on a, a really important purpose of, uh, of connecting people through lending to alleviate poverty, which is our mission. Um, as a lawyer, in some ways it really doesn't get much better than this job. Well, Kiva's been so lucky to work with Fenwick over the years. I met a lawyer who was a family friend who came to me and said, what you're doing is illegal. You can't just lend money to people in Africa. There's the IRS, there's uh, Homeland Security, there's the SEC, there's all these alphabet soups of uh, regulators in between you and that borrower halfway across the world. We feel really lucky uh, that we've had a long-standing relationship with uh, Fenwick. Um, it literally started the day I started at Kiva. I called up Alan Cotto as a friend. Without any prompting, um, he reached out to the pro bono committee inside Fenwick and uh, got Kiva to be a pro bono client. And uh, Fenwick has been a supporter of Kiva ever since. Uh, I had had a long interest in this whole area the space that they're in, which is microfinance. And so it was, uh, to me, a, a perfect fit to be able to do some work with them. We were one of um, the very first to leverage internet social sharing technologies as a way to crowdsource funds from the general internet community to support microloans, first in the developing world and then here in the United States. And so the range of issues that we face in terms of uh, securities laws, uh, banking laws, um, internet privacy rules, borrower privacy issues, um, it really does run the gamut. So uh, we have a phrase here at Kiva that it's never a dull day, um, and it's certainly never a dull day in the legal department as well. They have uh, people who work not only in the United States, but are either sent from the U.S. or are resident in other countries. The company, Akiva, still needs to be compliant with U.S. laws for its U.S. employees, even if, if they happen to be somewhere else. You know, Kiva is really interesting because it's at the intersection of so many different fields. On one hand, we have a lot of banking and securities law issues, and I think that as a nonprofit, there's just not that many nonprofits out there that have securities laws issues. And so it's a really meaty subject that you know the um, attorneys at Fenwick can really sink their teeth into. It's really great for the firm because it provides training and exposure to associates that they may not otherwise get. And this assures that um, our attorneys are exposed to folks that are uh, doing good for the world. Um, so I think it's good for uh, attorney morale, it's good for training, um, it allows junior associates, mid-level associates, and partners uh, to work on things they wouldn't otherwise have exposure to.